But the fake meat movement is not going over well with the nation's ranchers. The beef industry is trying to figure out how to keep its market share from slipping. Jane Wells is outside Wyola, Montana. Brett Crosby's family has been raising cattle for five generations across Montana and Wyoming in some of the most beautiful country in America. All I've ever wanted to do is be a cowboy. But cattle ranchers are facing a small rival with a lot of momentum, fake meat made from plants. Companies like Beyond Meat are not much of a threat yet. Revenues are relatively tiny, $240 million this year, compared to a national beef herd worth an estimated $67 billion. But ranchers are taking notice and they have a few beefs. We are not against science. We are not against uh, uh, people wanting to, to make new products. We just want to make sure we're on a level and even playing field where everybody goes by the same regulations and the same rules. Beef number one. The meat industry is regulated stringently by the USDA, but plant-based products are regulated by the FDA. But if fake meat burgers cannot be eaten raw and have to be refrigerated just like meat, Kevin Kester of the National Cattlemen's Beef Association thinks they should be regulated like meat. We all want to have the same inspection processes and have the consumer and public confidence that uh, those products are safe. Beef number two claims that plant-based meat use a fraction of the land to produce the same amount of protein as cattle. Brett Crosby says all land is not created equal. 90% of the land that is grazed by cattle is, has no other, uh, no other productive use. Then there's the beef over whether you can call fake meat, meat. 13 states, including Montana, have passed laws or resolutions about labeling, saying you can't call something meat unless it comes off an animal. But perhaps the greatest long-term concern could be meat made in a lab. Actual meat, not plant-based substitutes. Who needs an animal? Have you tried an, a plant-based meat? I've tried them all, yes, I have. <laughs> Are you kidding me? No. Kidding or not, the buzz right now is all about fake meat. And the beef industry does not want to be left in the dust. For Nightly Business Report, Jane Wells on the Crow Indian Reservation in southern Montana.